tier ranking client acquisition channels for online coaches. All right, so if you're an online coach, you want to figure out what channel of client acquisition is by far the best of the best of the best. It's going to be a ton of clients. And what is the worst? Which most people make this mistake. I know I did. And it is the absolute worst thing you can do to acquire clients. Uh, if you don't know who, I'm, who I am, my name is Jack Bly. I do like coaching business to 170K per month. I'm just sharing with you uh, what I've learned along the way. So let's jump into it. Uh, the absolute worst of the worst client acquisition channel for online coaches is going to be a traditional website. All right, please don't use a traditional website, especially if you're starting out. And like, I, I made this mistake. Like everyone thinks this, oh, I'm starting this business. I need to have a website. All right, and you have this like traditional website, professionalize me when uh, in reality, like this never gets you clients. Like this is the absolute worst funnel, the worst channel of acquisition ever, ever. Like think of people's attention spans nowadays. Scrolling on TikTok, scrolling on social media all the time, constantly like they, they can't focus. If you're watching something on TV, the moment commercials come on, you have to go to your phone because you need like some quick dopamine hits. All right, people's attention spans are at you know all time low. So with the traditional website, it's all over the place. There's you know five different places you can go. So of course, it's not going to drive that many leads. Yeah, I mean if you have hundreds of thousands, millions of people, eyeballs on this page. Yeah, hopefully you can get some leads, but this is by far the absolute worst thing you could possibly do. So um, I definitely do not recommend a website um, for <laughs> most people. Like you do not need a website. I don't even have a website for, for my business because it's honestly like such low ROI, like so low ROI. It's insane. Uh, so worst thing you can do, traditional website. What's the next up? All right, next up, we have a C class. So this is called Outbound. And um, I want to preface this by cold Outbound by saying that cold Outbound is like extremely profitable can absolutely do cold outbound right. All right. I still do it to this day because it works so freaking well. All right. Uh, big things here that's awesome about cold outbound is that it can be automated. Number one, you just have to find a campaign that works. Okay. You test this outbound message to this certain pool of people. See, holy crap, it's converting. Let's just scale this up. All right. You can have a VA do it for you. Um, and you can basically just track the metrics, make sure it keeps on converting. Um, so once you set up a, a winning campaign, like it's pretty aren't easy, honestly. Um, but um, downsides of cold outbound is obviously it's cold traffic. So people don't know you. So it tends to be a little bit harder to convert people into calls into clients, uh, but still can work exceptionally well. All right. This is going to be like, for most people, just like just starting out, this can be your easiest, like your go-to because the, the barrier to entry is so low. Like anyone can do this. All right. So that's the next step up C class still absolutely works. Um, one thing I actually do recommend. So from here on out, there's only like good methods. Like the good thing is like all these methods work. Literally all of them do. Even the, a crappy website can work. Even the worst method in the world can still work to get you clients, which is a good thing. All right, next up, email newsletter. All right, this is B class right here. Uh, pros of an email newsletter, what I like is that it can be completely automated. At least like you have, can set up a welcome sequence. All right, so you get a new subscriber. Um, you, can, you can give them a free gift, some sort of lead magnet, and then you can kind of nurture them in let's say a 10, 14, 21 day email uh, welcome sequence. And in this welcome sequence, what you can do basically is you can kill objections beforehand. So, hey, you don't have to do X, Y, Z with this. Um, you can also build beliefs. You can share case studies, client results. You can build so much belief in what you do, all right? And it's automated. You build it once. Once you see it's converting, hey, every, you know, two out of every 100 subs books a call with me. So all of a sudden it becomes a game. Okay, let's get more email subscribers. That's the very cool part about it. So you can build your sequence once and just have it work on autopilot forever. And of course you can have the list, you can grow the list and email them consistently, which is very cool. You also own the, the list of contacts, which is a plus, but honestly, like it's not like social media is very, very similar to this. Like people try and crap on social media. Like, oh, you don't, you don't own the list. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess, but like, <laughs> if you're not doing anything crazy, like you're not going to get banned. Like, you're going to be, you're going to be good. Um, so that's B class email newsletter, uh, a, a class right here. So this thing is freaking good. It works insanely well, hot outbound. So what is hot outbound? This is going to be outbound to your followers or people that engage with their content, people that are recognizing you, are they familiar with it? They, they probably like you. They probably trust you. This <laughs> is so easy to do it. It works so well. And it's also easy pickings. If you're watching this, you have a large following and you don't do this. You are just like, you just hate money. You're just lighting money on fire. Like you just don't, you're not doing it. It's easy pickings and it could be automated. It could be outsourced. Like 
please, if you have an audience right now, you're not doing hot up please do this immediately. Like you're you guaranteed you will make cash. Like sending out a hundred messages right now. Like you're gonna book calls like right now. Like do this, please. A class works really, really well. A plus class. All right. Inbound. All right. So this tends like you tend to probably have some sort of an audience to build this up. Um, but getting inbound leads, so people coming to you, this is the best type of leads, the hottest leads. All right. With this, you know, close rate tends to be the highest, um, just tends to be the easiest people who are ready to rock. Like they've been consuming your content for a while, probably. Um, and they, you know, they're coming to you. So they're actively seeking you out. Obviously, like this is one of the, the best client acquisition methods you could possibly have. So definitely prioritize this, have call to actions in your content to DM you to come to you. Um, Cause these are just like easy, easy closes, easy clients. Um, so definitely want to build this up. Takes time typically. So build up your audience. Absolutely. Whatever you're doing. Um, even if you're at the cold app on stage right now, you have nothing, you have very little followers. You should be actively building your audience, right? Actively creating content. So you can have that inbound snowball happen down the road. All right. Cause it pays off so much. Like the stage I'm at right now, I have quite a few followers online. Uh, like I never have a client acquisition problem ever. Um, and I mean, obviously you can just have that with cold outbound and get validated campaigns here. You don't have client acquisition problem ever again. Um, but inbound, like it just makes it easy. Like it's like, I have too many leads right now. I have too many. That's what inbound can do for you, which is, it's really cool. So definitely like build out your audience. It's so worth it. The last one, word of mouth. All right. S class. The absolute best of the best is word of mouth. What you need to do to make this happen is you need to have a damn good product, damn good program, damn good coaching service. Word of mouth is powerful. Like this is like free, free customers, free clients for you. All you do is like deliver a great service and you get people that talk about you for you. All right. So, you know, everyone talks about this. Very few people actually execute it. Um, I'm still like so, so invested in continuing to make my program better and better and better and better. Like guys are already getting great results. I have um, one guy, Sean, who, uh, made 9k in the first 14 days of us working together so two weeks in already made 9k um from us working together which is pretty awesome but like i want that to be like like even better like i want 30k in the first two weeks like that's what i want to get results for everyone in my clients so um continue to make your product better and better and better um it honestly like, it never stops like you have to keep on improving it once you do that like word of mouth comes easier I'm, I'm getting a decent amount of referrals right now but i want it to be like insane i want it to be to a point where i cannot handle the new clients. Um, so work on your, your service, work on your, your coaching program, make it as good as humanly possible. And uh, that is the best of the best they can do. So this is the tier ranking client acquisition channels for online coaches. Again, all of these can work, but websites is the absolute worst. Like, <laughs> don't worry about a website, please. It's the absolute lowest ROI thing that you can never do uh, <laughs> with your time to acquire clients. Uh, but this is it. Uh, if you are an online coach that wants to add 10K to 30K a month to your coaching business, um, go ahead, click the link below and we can chat so you can help scale your business. But hope you have a blessed day. You are amazing. You are a legend and I will see you in the next one.